and all the roles that Russia is playing, um, the multifaceted approach to um, regaining the influence it lost after the end of the Cold War. Uh, because if you understand, um, the Soviets used to be very influential in Africa around the Cold War period. But after the Cold War period, um, it lost its influence and the West became the most uh, influential um, partner in most African countries, you know. Um, but um, what we are seeing today is that over the years, the West has become complacent. The, the West has become, okay, I mean, we have been partners for close to 40, 30 years with these people. So the West have become, uh, they, they've taken the partnership with Africa for granted, which has basically given Russia the inroad to come in. And if you look at places like Francophone Africa, uh, over the years, there have been growing discontent with, with France specific, specifically. Um, they have, this room have given chance to a lot of um, narrative, anti-French narrative in most of, because French have been seen to have been supportive of uh, despotic government in, in those regions. And people believe that there's a lot of um, evidence that French were being exploitative of some of the minerals from those countries and not giving the people enough back um, re, um, the returns that is um, needed. So um, we have these NGOs, the lack of chemist Saba and others who are basically lashing in on those discontent, those anti-French discontent that already existed in this country and playing them up. So what we are dealing with is not exactly fake news. Of course, there's an aspect of disinformation which Russia is very, very good um, in using characters to, to spread. I mean, that's that. But also, it's playing against using the nuances, using the um, a little bit of hatred that has been in this country and amplifying them and making them look larger than life and making them, making people, so oh, this is it. So they amplify the things and they make them look very large. This, these are things that already existed. Some of them are not true. Some of them are exaggerated. Some of them are, are manipulated. They are not explained the way. So they're not necessarily fake. Of course, there's an aspect of disinformation or, or misinformation, but there's also the aspect of some element of truth, which they are now taking and twisting and giving it a different complexion.